You guys asked for it, so today we are talking about the state of PvE in Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 right now, and what you can expect when you jump in on Friday when it comes to PvE content. Now, I have a list of stuff. We're going to go through progression, questing, commissions, events, crafting, dungeons, and raiding, all of which I find falls under the PvE category. So starting at the top with, by my opinion, the most important thing is progression. So in Alpha 2 right now, as a lot of you probably know, you go into Lionhold through the Divine Gateway, and there are some quests that introduce you to the game. They bring you down into the city, kill some goblins, and then there's some NPCs scattered around. One gives you quests to introduce you to crafting, another introduces you to commissions, another has you exploring this ruined city of Ayla and going around and just kind of getting a feel for things, exploring and all of that. Going through these, like the Mount one is very important. If you want to do get some of the story and the questing, it's a good way to introduce yourself to the game. But right now, the progression is not the ideal way to level. As I said before, the best way to level is really group grinding. When you go through this, the questing XP from like one to five is decent. And then after five, it doesn't really scale as you're leveling because it's not fully implemented yet. So I think the expectation is you do these introductory quests and then you go and take on commissions that put you out further into the world and do a bit more exploration. And there's some that just have you go to certain points and I believe it tells you to scout them out. So you go to these certain areas and scout them out. Some of these areas are flushed out and have events and some of them you just go there and you're like why am i here and then you go on to the next one and then there's some that have you kill different monsters and things like that but the commission xp is terrible like there is the rewards you get for commissions make it really not worth it at all especially once you get past like level five and get into that okay you're in a grinding point you need to get xp so like if you want to take your time and level and explore do commissions if you're trying to level fast to get to level 10 to be a node citizen then commissions are not the way to do it when it comes to gear progression in the beginning starting areas kill the goblins like when you go into this area and you're going to go down into Lion hold and there's going to be a commission that says slay these goblins kill as many of those goblins as you can i normally grind them out to like level five they are really the only npc at a lower level that drop a significant amount of gear and you can grab gear from a vendor that's in lion hold but other than that you really don't experience npcs that drop gear until you hit level 10 and you can buy that next tier of gear from the node so in this middle phase i imagine they want you to do more crafting and get gear that why that's the only reason i would stick around lion hold for me if you want to level if you want to get to the end game as fast as possible whatever that end game is in alpha you want to level and you want to do it in a group and farming different points of interest which we'll talk about in a minute but yeah so like commissions i think commissions need a lot of work the reward is not worth the effort for me personally to pick them up obviously the idea here commissions eventually are meant to work whereas they're like your gateway into the world they're your gateway into exploration and you can kind of see that already it's just the world is not fleshed out enough for i think commissions to have their full potential and actually send you out into the world to take on these various events and take on npcs and really just get lost on your path and get lost in this world and not come back and just keep doing your thing world events are in the game they are functioning they are certain parameters that need to be hit for these events to trigger in the world and they give pretty good xp like most events that i've done have given like 14 to 18 k xp which is very good comparative to anything else but some of these events are lengthy and they take a challenge which i think is a good thing and they take groups some of the npcs hit hard there are commissions in the starting zone where npcs are a bit tougher than you can normally expect and you definitely want to group up for those some of them are soloable some of them are a little glitchy and not meant to be soloable but i think you can when it comes to craft Crafting, I think crafting for what it is, is I've said this in the previous video, but it is a grind. You are going to want to invest time into crafting. You are not going to be able to craft everything without help. Each profession is kind of like interwoven in with the other professions and it really wants you to use other players and use guilds to help speed up your process and whatever your professions that you want to master may be. Even in this early stage, there are, as I said, there are pieces missing and things along those lines but i think crafting gives you a very good idea of what intrepid is intending from this system obviously it's it's bare bones crafting form right now there's not the mini game crafting that they've talked about in the past or anything along those lines it's mine 
grab what you need, get the best material, combine them, and make the piece you need to move on to the next piece. And it again, it's gonna be a time consuming grind, but it's really the best way to get gear. And there are a lot of interesting components to it. Like there's enchanting scrolls and potions and all of that stuff that you're gonna need later on. So you are going to want to trade with people or join a guild and get an established routine going on for you to get these materials because right now there's no auction house there's no markets it's all player trading or what you create yourself so until those things come online you are really going to want to rely on other people a bit more than you probably would in the live game at least in the sense where you're actually like speaking to them and in the chat trying to get the materials you need or get the resources you need because once markets are in you can just go up to a stall and buy whatever they have at the market and it'll be a different experience but right now join a guild i'm just gonna keep saying that join a guild going back to the leveling for a minute i talked about this a bit earlier so if you look at the world map there are various points of interest on the map and for the most part these points of interest have elite npcs which are recognized by the amount of stars they have there's one star two star and three stars three star being the hardest one star being the easiest and these elites kind of roam these points of interest and give very good xp drop a decent amount of materials but require a group for you to go in and grind and these are the places that you're going to want to explore when you're grouping up leveling and going through the motions to get to 25 because it's the most beneficial way to spend your time if you're trying to level so obviously if you're going one, one to ten is pretty easy for the most part and you could do one to ten solo if you want to go out and take the exploration route and explore this world and then once you get past ten you're kind of at this point where you need to grind out to get to the next stage to get to the next level of content and there are some areas where you can do it solo but the majority of them you definitely want that group and then within these there are the little pocket dungeons that intrepid has mentioned too like oakenbane keep is supposed to be a pocket dungeon i believe the ursine caverns which is like these level 15 to 20 bears that it just keeps going down deeper into the caves is supposed to be a pocket dungeon there's an area in the ruins of ayla that are like you can go underneath the ruins and there are level 15 mobs in there i don't know if that's intended a pocket dungeon or not but things like that and dungeons when you think of dungeons they're just these areas with more challenging npcs and they normally have like a higher level boss at the end or a higher level elite npc that can drop gear and there's named npcs that'll drop specific pieces of gear and most of these points of interest are said to have their own gear sets in them although i haven't really seen much drop yet so that'll be interesting to see as people get in there more and more and take things on now some of these are locked out behind node progression like the gates to oak and bank keep don't open until a node hits stage three you can find your way in there right now by climbing up the side of a wall and jumping over the wall and getting in that way but i don't think that's really intended and will probably be patched at some point because it's one of those things where like these dungeons and these raids are meant to be locked behind node progression. When it comes to raiding, you have Firebrand and you have Tumok right now wandering around. Tumok's been glitchy, people have been bugging him out and just getting him stuck and you just fire all of your abilities at him and it takes forever to kill. He does drop crafting materials for you to use along with some various gear and the crafting materials you can then, if you have the recipe, make more gear with, he drops the bark to his tree, which is, I think is pretty cool. I like the idea of the gear set drops and the crafting material drops to really get a variety of gear in there. But PvE end game content is kind of loud in a sense right now which again that i think is going to come online in phase two more when we see these story arcs coming on and again when i say end game i mean level 25 it's not end game as intrepid meant to be but end game for this stage of alpha because that is the cap and i think once you hit 25 it's going to be basically crafting you're going to craft and craft and level up the professions you want and go into the lawless zones and pvp and get the materials you want and bring them back and keep crafting and that way when phase two starts players are ready to go for whatever intrepid starts burning in for that content but i think there is going to be this kind of stalemate at level 25 where you really don't have much left to do because it's an alpha and doesn't have really any of that later game content yet so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how people spend their time at this point because you could level up another archetype you could go through the rounds again but again it's grind and grind and grind and grind and i don't know if people are going to enjoy that i enjoy it i love grouping up with people and killing npcs and i think it's a blast but is the majority of the audience going to i really don't know but overall pve content does exist 
in a very basic form, I would say. Like, NPCs need work, the loot tables aren't balanced, the progression paths aren't balanced, there's lots of content missing that I think is meant to tie pieces together, and it's going to be interesting to see what people do with their time as they get into these later levels, because honestly, we haven't seen a lot of that. We have had wipe after wipe for most of the tests up until a couple weeks ago. Normally, people would get to like 10 to 15 before that wipe happened, and they're doing another wipe again today on the live server, so it's it's really hard at this point to get up to that level 25 content right now and hopefully when alpha 2 starts people can actually get there and experience that and go in and do carfin and go in and do these pocket dungeons and the citadel of steel bloom and take on firebrand and take on two milk and all of that that i think is a lot harder for us as testers to do right now with all of these wipes and with the bugs that we're trying to fix but again point of the alpha right now is stability and performance and that is all Intrepid seems to be focused on and it is what it is so if you don't like that kind of stuff you may not enjoy it jumping in on Friday but yeah if you have PvE questions drop the comments down below I will be live again 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday so I'll be answering questions then talking ashes and yeah peace